factorize x to the power of 7 minus 1 in case you don't know the formula. Now, this method is really, really, really fantastic, fabulous, and magnificent. So, what shall we do? Firstly, if we have a look at this equation, x to the power of 7 minus 1 equals 0. Then, we can immediately notice that x equals 1 is a solution. So that implies x minus 1 is 0, and x minus 1 is a factor of our left-hand side. So x minus 1 is a factor of our this term. So x to the power of 7 minus 1 has to be written as x minus 1 then times blah blah blah. So, now, this is our clue, and this is our way, because in the last step, x minus 1 can be taken out. So, we can go along this clue and factorize x to the power 7 minus 1. Let's do it, step by step, okay? Now, we have x to the power 7. If we want to get x minus 1 as a factor, we have to minus, we have to subtract x to the power of 6 from x to the power of 7. Therefore, we can take out x to the power of 6, and in the bracket, the factor will be x minus 1. However, here isn't any x to the power of 6, so we have to add it back, plus x to the power of 6. The same reason, we want to factorize this guy. We want to get the factor x minus 1. So we have to minus, we have to subtract x to the power 5. Then plus x to the power 5, subtract x to the power 4, add it back, subtract x to the power 3, add this x cubed back, minus x squared, then plus x squared. Oh my god, there isn't any place anymore. <sighs> Nothing will happen minus x plus x minus 1. So now you can see, now you can see, all these things can be cancelled. Minus x plus 6 plus x plus 6 minus plus minus plus blah, 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 until here. So this guy, this long term, is just equal to x to the power 7 minus 1. But why? Why have we written it so complicatedly? For one reason. We want to factorize it, and we want to get the factor. We want to acquire x minus 1 as a factor. Next step will be very long. Patience, patience. Here, take out x to the power of 6. It is x minus 1 in the bracket. Here, x to the power of 5. It is x minus 1 in the bracket. x to the power of 4 x minus 1 in the bracket, x to the power of 3, x minus 1 in the bracket, x squared, x minus 1 in the bracket, here x, x minus 1 in the bracket, and here just x minus 1. So now, x minus 1 can be taken out! So the answer is just x minus 1 times what? Times x to the power of 6 here, plus x to the power of 5, plus x to the, to the power of 4, plus x cubed, plus x squared, plus x, and plus 1, don't forget. Because here is not 0, it is plus 1 times x minus 1. So this is a factorization. This is our answer. I like to talk about the formula. Of course, x to the power of n minus 1, where n is a positive integer, okay? It is, it always has a factor x minus 1, because x to the power of n minus 1 equals, equals 0, x equals 1 is just a root. The same way, just like here. Then times what thing? Then times x to the power of n minus 1 plus x to the power of n minus minus 2 plus x 
plus 1. So this is a formula. Of course, we also have the a to the power of n minus b to the power of n, this guy. Where a, b, and n are positive integers. It is just a minus b times a to the power of n minus 1 plus a to the power of n minus 2 times b plus n to the power of n minus 3b squared plus n to a to the power of 2 times b to the power of n minus 3 plus a times b to the power of n minus 2 plus b to the power of n minus 1. Now, do you get it? Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.